Hello everyone, this is Ashley. Today I have a haul video. Um, I've been watching everyone's um, Hobby Lobby hauls since they have the paper crafting section 75% uh, off. So of course I had to kind of join in on the fun and just kind of see what my, um, with my Hobby Lobby had. Um, and actually I have two Hobby Lobbies. I have one closer to my job and then one closer to my home. Um, I found most of my items um, at the Hobby Lobby that's closer to my job. Um, but the one closer to my home actually didn't uh, have pretty much anything discontinued at all. I don't know if they just haven't started that sale yet. I'm not percent sure, but they haven't discontinued anything or, you know, clearance anything out. But I did find a lot of good stuff at the Hobby Lobby near my job, though. So we're just going to head to jump in and get started. So the first thing, which I haven't really seen in a lot of people's hauls, is I found the Hobby Swap, um, the Marquee, the light box. The I uh, found, let's see if we can kind of get it in the, there we go. Um, this was $7.50. I don't know if you guys can, I'll turn it this way. But it was $7.50. It was really $29.99 to $30. So I did find this. Um, and along with the light box I've been wanting for a while, I found these two, um, like little script, these little inserts that go inside of here. And these were both a dollar. Um, and this just says, stay humble, work hard, be kind with this cute floral print with the pink and then this blue this one says be the best version of yourself and again both of these were a dollar and the marquee um, was $7.50 so I've been wanting a light box for such a long time I finally found it clearanced out with two little inserts here and I was trying to um, see if they had any more of these inserts but I guess they're all gone but at least I got my hands on one of the light boxes I've been wanting for a while so I was super excited to find that because I've been wanting those for, for a minute now and then of course Tim Holtz stuff was clearanced out so um, I got the Tim Holtz these little like chess pieces of course those were a dollar the wooden chess pieces uh, the buckles again these were a dollar fifty and I plan on using this on a mini album actually and then also from Tim Holtz I purchased um, the brushes I purchased the spackle brush, which I've been actually wanting to try this for a while. I just had a regular brush that I was like tapping, trying to spackle some things on, but it didn't quite work out. So I've been wanting to try this for a while. It was only two dollars, so why not? And then this one, which is a dollar fifty, this is the distress collage medium. And again, I still needed some brushes because I'm tired of using the disposable ones, and I've just repurchased it. So I just picked that one up. And then I also have the Distress Crayons. Um, I'm not sure if this particular color selection is kind of your pastel colors, I guess. But this was $3.25. And this was the last one and I grabbed it because this lady was about, to, was about to grab it. But I got it first. So I did get this one. And then um, I also found the Distress Crayon Watercolor Kit. And this was originally $24.99 and I got it for $6.25. And actually in this kit, you get six Distress Crayons, uh, a mini Distress Archival Ink Pad, Clear Stamp Set, arch Acrylic Block, Paint Brush, Sheets of Distress Watercolor, and a Technique Booklet. So the biggest uh, plus out of this whole entire kit is you get a full set of Distress Crayons. And plus I got this one for $3.25. And I was just so happy to find the, you know, everything that I've even purchased because I've been wanting to try these distressed crayons for a while now. I just didn't want to pay the full price for it. So I was super happy to find both of those and that kit because that's a really, really good deal. And then on to some of the dies. Um, I have the Tim Holtz Alterations by Sizzix. This is the Village Christmas Time. And this was $2.50. And I was eyeballing this before uh, Christmas anyway, so I'm glad that I found this one for $2.50. And then I got a Spellbinders and a Stabilities die. This was $5. And this design, I do remember this when this first came out, because I think this die said it was made in like 2014 or something. Yeah. So it's been a while, but I remember this die, and I always wanted it, but I never, you know, could pay the original price for it. So I'm actually glad that I found this one, because I do remember this, and this is gorgeous. I can't wait to do some uh, cards. It'll make it very simple and easy. And then I also found this one. This is uh, Manger. 
Um, and it was really $14.99. I got it for $3.75. It's one of the Spellbinders Dye Delights. And I've been trying to find a dye like this for a manger for such a long time to make for cars or the particular scenery. So when it comes for Christmas and the holiday season, um, and just really in general, church, anything like that, this will be perfect, perfect. So I was like, super excited to find this, super excited. And then I also got the Spellbinders, um, the shape abilities, just the etched alphabet. This was $5. Um, it has the alphabet and the letters. And I do have one that's from Tim Holtz that I purchased a while back, but the font's a little different. So just for $5, I went ahead and picked this one up because I do love the font of this. It's so much different than the Tim Holtz font. So I got that. And then this one I've actually been eyeing for a while. I saw this one on the Spellbinders website. Um, and since I found a clearance for $7.50, I had to pick this up because I saw um, someone make a card with this. Um, and it was just gorgeous. And again, the example that they have on here is just gorgeous. So this was when I was eyeballing on the website. And the fact that it's clearanced out, I had to grab it. And then these other three I have been wanting for so, so long since actually from last year from Creativation when Tim Holtz brought this up. So this is part of the Tim Holtz, uh, it's a big die. Um, it's the, let's see, the proper name. This is the Village Dwellings. And it comes with a couple different types of sets of dies. But pretty much though, this gives you the base of getting these homes or apartments or churches, you know, whatever you want to consider it to be. And it also comes with, or not also comes with, but you can purchase separately, which is the, this is the um, Village Bungalow, as well as the Village Winter. And all of these um, kind of do require this big one because it gives you the good base, like the rest of these eligible, the parts that you can kind of mix and match between them. But I've been wanting to make like these cute little homes, whether that was a shabby chic, um, even this kind of like country themed, kind of the winter with the snow. I just want to try and try to make some of these and especially get some shabby and get those up in my craft room. This will just be super gorgeous. So I was super excited to find these clearanced out. The big uh, XL one, this was $12.50 and the two small ones were $6.25. So I was super excited to find these because I've literally been wanting these from when Tim Holtz presented these last year at Creativation. And then I also just got an extra set of the cutting pads um, for the cutting strips for $2.50. You can never have enough of these because we all need those no matter what. And then I also got some stamps. Um, I got, let's see here. I have this stamp. This is a pretty big one. This one has the scripture, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, you know, etc., etc. Um, and this was $2.50, but I've been looking for some stamps for scripture in my Bible for a while, and I just haven't found them. And the fact that I did find this on clearance as well was a plus, so I definitely had to pick up that one. And then I have this one here, which was $1.75. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Luke 2.11. So, of course, I had to pick this one. This will be really good on a holiday card, like for Christmas or something to do with church. Um, if I need to make any cards for anybody for church or anything like that, or just in general, it's a really good stamp to have. And this is probably one of my favorites as well. Actually, it is. I love this. Um, give it to focus. I'm not sure if it'll... I don't think it will focus, but the stamp says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will... Let's see. Seek and you will find. And then knock and the door will be opened. So for a dollar, I love this. My mom used to tell me this all the time um, as a child and even now. So I definitely had to pick up those stamps. And then I also purchased from Tim Holtz. They had the mini lanterns um, clearance style. These were $1.50. And I actually did a little bit more research on these, which is why I purchased two, um, because they're lanterns they include with a battery pack. So pretty much, um, based on the description, it says a miniature battery uh, powered lantern to illuminate the configuration. So any sort of configuration box, card, just anything you can think of, you could definitely put these to kind of illuminate your project, and I think that would be so gorgeous. So I grabbed two of those for $1.50, because I'm going to want to try those out for a while, so... I got that. 
And I also purchased the Tim Holtz Ideology, the metallic uh, craft stock or paper, where it's the gold and silver. And this was $375. Um, I think it says 96 or 86 papers. But I've been wanting to get more silver and gold to die cut with. So this was perfect, and especially the fact that they're only 375 with like 86 papers in here is a really good deal for them to be metallic. So I had to jump on that for sure. And then I also found in the mixed media section, this was a dollar. I'll kind of turn around, but it's the it's it's um some very thick chipboard, and they come in like four but one, two, three different sizes, and you get two of each. So I get like a big 12 by 12, um, I think it says eight and a half by 11, and then a four by six, and you get two, two of each. And I plan on making a mini album, and I needed these, really these two, the um, 12 by 12, and then the eight and a half by 11. So I got this to use on the mini album, and this, like I said, this is really thick chip for us. So I grabbed that for a dollar. And then, of course, I had to grab some Anna Griffin because you guys know I love Anna Griffin. Um, again, this was $5. You can see at the top. This has 48 sheets. Um, so, yeah, I definitely had to pick up Anna Griffin because I love her. I've made some cards with her, with her papers previously. They're just very simple and easy. The papers are gorgeous. They're pretty thick. So, I had to get the Anna Griffin. But, yeah, this is just pretty much my haul. I um, just want to share, you know, some things that I purchased. I've been looking at everyone else's video. So I just want to say, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um, thank you for all of, my, you know, all of my subscribers for leaving comments, from actually subscribing. I just want to say thank you so, so much. I appreciate everyone truly. And just thank you so much. I mean, you all have a blessed, blessed day. And after I, I um, upload or post this video, I do have a project share. I actually have quite a few of some Valentine cards as well as um, a few little embellishments like some rosettes, some bows, kind of things of that nature for Valentine's Day as well. So please stay tuned to those. But again, just thank you for all my subscribers and for commenting and sticking with me. Um, I really appreciate that. So y'all have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Bye.